Morning everybody. So we just got started milking here. This is the first side of pen one we got on. It's a comfortable about 65 degrees this morning. Feels pretty good. Still gotta have the shorts on now. So we're having a little problem here to start off. We have, that's the first side of cows there. We milked them and it overflowed this tank here. So this tank fills up and then it's supposed to be pumped over through this pump here and up this line over to the milk house. And for whatever reason, our pump's not starting up. So we're letting this tank drain out here. We're gonna try to restart it and see if it starts pumping. I'm not sure what the problem is right now. We actually just replaced our milk pump a couple weeks ago here. So it's not supposed to be giving issues anymore. So it's almost 5.30 in the morning now, and we're about a half hour behind schedule already. We're not able to get the pump to work. We were messing with the wires, talking to the service guy about it that works on these. So they're gonna have to come out and do something to fix it, not sure. I got my dad out here a little bit early. He was helping us and we couldn't figure it out. Dad opened up the box up there that controls the pump and reset something and it started working now so we'll see how it goes. Probably gonna need some work but hopefully we can get through this milking. Put these milkers on and see what happens. Got that whole side of cows on. So the milk gets pumped down here, falls into this tank. Once it gets full, the uh, sensor tells it to pump out. And this pump is running here, we can see. That is a very good thing. If that doesn't work, then we're shut down, so. We're about 45 minutes behind schedule, so we're gonna have to keep moving. just got done milking. I'm gonna go get some breakfast now and we'll come out and get back to work. Took a little bit of a break. You can see here we got the mower out yesterday. Went over it, it's ready to go. We're ready to mow, second cutting off alpha. I'm gonna get going here, fire this thing up. Got about 50 acres to do, so I think about seven hours, maybe a little bit less. Gotta unlock my mower here so it can drop down. Now we got corn growing right beside the alfalfa. Gotta be careful I don't mow this stuff. See it's coming up pretty strong here. This was the stuff I planted uh, right around May 15th, something like that. Alfalfa grew really good too. We had good rains the last few weeks here. We mow about every four weeks. It's been about four and a half weeks since we did first cutting. We wanna do it before the flowers start to show. We get some purple flowers here you can see there's a flower. Too much of that and your feed quality starts to drop, but most of it is good. This is the perfect time to be mowing it, so we'll knock it all down here.
getting started with my second strip here now. So I'm just laying it out nice and wide like this. We're not gonna go through with the tether. It, uh, it's not heavy enough that it's gonna need that, but you spread it wide, let the sun dry it, give it a little bit of time. Just have to get this stuff dried out here and then we can harvest some productive alfalfa right here. My dad's taking over for a little bit for me here. I've been mowing for a little while now. I'm gonna go get some lunch. Now, if I was kind of laying over a decent bit, the one direction, so when I'm mowing along with the way that it's leaning, it's leaving some there. There's some longer strands that it's not quite picking up when I go this way, and then when I go the other way, it works a lot better. I have three fields left to do, and they're the new seedings that we planted this year, so this will be the first time cutting these fields. If you remember, we rented that S drill, seeded a little closer rows. It looks like a nice stand. It'll, it won't yield as much this first time, but by the next cutting, it should be stronger. I'm gonna bring the windrow in a little bit so it's not so wide. It doesn't need to be so wide anymore because it's not as heavy of crop here. I had it as wide as it could go before, so basically it shoots out from between these rollers and it'll hit this glancer and drop down without even hitting these at all. So it was just going as wide as it could. Now it'll throw it up a little bit higher. It'll glance off of these, make it a little thinner rows. I just hit something. This thing is not good for hay mowers. Let's see what the damage is here. Look at that. Bent that knife down. Bent that one there too. Well, this one here needs changed. Now this knife's not in too bad a shape, it's just bent down a little bit. So if someone suggested in the comments to use a pipe wrench to bend these up, and I found that I like that better than using a crowbar like I was before so thanks for that suggestion and we're gonna take this guy along with us I'm on the last field here now it's this eight acre field right here near the barn and it actually came in really nice. This one looks good. It's the nicest of the new seating fields, so I'm pretty happy with it. I'm gonna be done for the day now. I'll pick up tomorrow here when we start raking and get ready to harvest. It is now the next morning. My dad just took off with the truck. He's going to pick up the rake that we rent, and I'm gonna unhook this disc bind right now. We'll be able to hook this tractor up to the rake then. The hay is drying really well, so we're gonna start raking and we'll probably chop this evening then. Uh, the stuff I mowed last evening isn't gonna be ready quite yet. So now I'm gonna make sure it's lifted up the whole way. And then we can go put the blockers in so it can't drop down. I'll just pull front a little bit. This needs to be taken off the hitch.
fueling up here. As soon as my dad gets here with that rake, we'll hook it up. So the, the controls for the rake, we have to hook up to electric and we just send that wire up to the battery. We thought we were ready to go, but this rake isn't working right. We think it's an electric issue here. Not sure if we're not getting power up through this cord or what's going on here. So I'm gonna open up this box and we're trying to figure this out. We got our electric issue figured out. It took a little bit longer than it should have. raked one field here so it's drying out pretty good it's gonna need a little bit more time here a little bit more sunlight dad's actually gonna take over and rake for a while i'll come back and finish up later another nice sunny day so this is good it is almost 7 p.m now and the custom harvesting crew is going to be here very soon to start chopping i'm going to climb this silo and open up for them we're going to be putting in this second harvest store silo the bigger one and that's the same one that we put first cutting in Beautiful out here this evening. Dad did a bunch of raking earlier today. That field's done, that field, that field. Two fields down at the bottom of the farm. Go ahead and open up these lids again. There, this one. Now these ropes here are connected to airbags that hang inside the silo here. I'm not exactly sure the purpose of those. I should look into that a little more. They inflate and deflate uh, throughout the day or with the different temperatures. I'm sure some of you know more than me, but when I go to fill here, I'll have to pull these up so that they're up out of the way and tie them here. Gooseneck here is in place, it'll blow straight down in there. These blue silos are completely sealed. So the only time we're opening up the top here is when we're filling, then we'll close it right back up and keep the oxygen out so the feed doesn't spoil. Wanted to check a field here. My dad did not finish up the raking because it was starting to get crunchy on top this afternoon. What happens is when the sun gets high in the middle of the day, it starts making the leaves crunchy and when you go to rake it, it'll knock them off the plant and then they won't end up getting in the feed. And your main source of feed value is in the leaves of the plant. Hopefully here about eight o'clock at night, I can start raking again and the leaves will be a little softer because uh, you get dew that comes down in the evening. Choppers here, they're about to head out here and get started. We mowed this yesterday and it was laying, we had plenty of drying weather. Want to get it dried down a bit, down around 50% moisture content for these silos.
higher than it needs to be, but it should be fine. Now I got a sample of the halage here, feels a bit dry, but I'm going to actually test the moisture right now. So we have what we call a coster tester here. Basically I'm going to put a weight in here and it's going to set the scales up to 100% on here. And then I'm going to stick it in this heater and it'll take all the moisture out of it. And then we'll see how much weight is left and that'll give us our dry matter percentage or the weight that got lost will be the moisture percentage. I'll just set this on this heater and plug it in. Now we'll give it about half an hour here. Went and ruined the tractor a bit. It's been a half an hour. We'll throw this on the scale here again. This test came in at about 40% uh, moisture. So that's a bit dry. I don't think it's all that dry. The load weights are coming in about normal, so I think it's around 50%. They're gonna catch up to me soon if I don't start raking. I'm gonna head out here now. fields left to do here. Stay out of this chopper. Got one field raked here. Dry cows are happy. There's a little bit of dew coming now because of the sun is down and the breeze is dying off. Sunflower seeds. What are you looking at? I'm done raking this last field, they're chopping right now.
I just gotta go close up the silo yet. They finished up. Just gonna throw some of this feed back in the silo here that spilled out and put the lid back on. See how full it is in here. It's about yeah, 10 to 15 feet below the top here. Got most of it in there, put the lid on, tighten it down good. Second cutting is in the books. It's about 10-15 at night, the milkers are finishing up right now. And I'm gonna go to bed. Thanks for watching guys, make sure you hit the like button and I will see you in the next video.